Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm going to be presenting a psychological ideology from the biopsychosocial model on the development of social anxiety disorder for adolescents. I looked at two articles, one from Lee and Clark, 2018, and the other from Joukowsky et al., 2018. The first focused on understanding social anxiety disorder in adolescents and the other focused on psychological explanations. So studies suggest that social anxiety disorder is unusual during childhood and not typical after the age of 25. Therefore, adolescence is a developmentally sensitive period for the arrival of the condition and a time when peer groups become increasingly more significant. And females seem to be more affected than males. According to Lee and Clark, our subconscious hits its peak during adolescence and enhances sensitivity to how we are being perceived. They explain two forms of self-consciousness, one being private self-consciousness, which is how you think of yourself, and the other public self-consciousness, which is how you think others think of you. The latter of the two having a more significant effect on the prevalence of social anxiety. The other article gave explanations for psychological aspects of social anxiety disorder. Joukowsky et al. mentioned four important psychological variables that predict psychological vulnerability to anxiety. These are perceived control, cognitive appraisals, cognitive beliefs, and cognitive distortions. A lack of perceived control can be explained by children who repeatedly experience a lack of control over the events in their lives and that may result in them viewing the world as unpredictable and dangerous. Cognitive beliefs and distortions basically pertain to an individual's ability to cope and tolerate negative life occurrences. Particular stressors in a person's environment do not directly cause their emotional reactions or problematic behavior. Instead, unhealthy reactions are the outcome of a person's distorted beliefs. I think from a clinician's standpoint, Social anxiety disorder can be treated with exposure therapy and behavior therapy. Since onset is typically during adolescence, parents should be knowledgeable of any symptoms that may occur during childhood and extra cautious during the transition to adolescence.